Hi, my name is Barb, a volunteer with the Medical Reserve Corps of Greater Kansas City. In this video, we will be explaining the importance of being culturally sensitive when working with survivors in a disaster shelter. How people respond to the stress of a disaster may be influenced by many factors, including their age, their educational level, and their level of disability. One aspect that is often overlooked is the importance of a survivor's culture. Our job as volunteers working in a disaster shelter is to be sensitive and supportive of each survivor's culture while providing for their comfort and safety. Culture can be defined as the values and beliefs of a particular group of people. When we talk about culture, we have to be careful not to stereotype. There are variations within every culture and every individual deserves to be treated with respect. Culture can be important during an emergency. Some cultures are more emotional than others. Their emotional displays can make listening to instructions difficult. Other cultures may be resistant to outside help or feel it is a sign of weakness to accept assistance from others. Inside the shelter, sharing a culture with others can be a protective system. It can provide a sense of community that gives support during a frightening time. It can also offer the survivor a blueprint for appropriate behavior and give a sense of control. As a volunteer in a disaster shelter, recognize that cultural differences may have an effect on your interaction with survivors. Start with being aware of your own cultural beliefs. Try to avoid making assumptions based on survivors' names, skin color, or clothing. Be aware of your own body language at all times. Nonverbal communication, comfort with physical proximity, willingness to talk, and eye contact all vary from culture to culture. The timing of your offer of help is important too. Be sure not to interrupt conversations of people who are supporting each other. If survivors decline your offer of support, do not act offended. Instead, ask if you could check on them later. When communicating with other language speaking groups, remember that not all ideas in the English language translate readily into other cultures. For example, the shelter's guidelines may not be meaningful to people from some cultures, even though they may seem concise and well-written to you. Likewise, notices and memos written on bulletin boards in the shelter may not translate into certain cultures. With this in mind, you may need to clarify verbally with the leader of a cultural group of survivors so they can provide reliable information to its members. Remember that every contact in a disaster shelter is a cross-cultural contact, your culture and the culture of the survivor. <laughs>